Hey everyone, welcome back. So today's Dollar Tree haul, I found some more Christmas items. Um, I'm pretty excited about what I found, so it's going to be, I mean, and it's not like a huge haul, but it's not small either. So um, I'm going to show you what I found, and this makes like the third time I've had to film this video because Darn my luck. I'm telling you guys, I have the worst luck when it comes to tech, technology, anything. I really need to get um, someone to show me how to edit and, uh, and everything. That way I can get myself a camera, an actual camera, not just using my phone to film on. Because I went out and bought a brand new phone just because my other phone it was running out of storage. Like I had nothing left and I... Had did a factory reset on it to try to delete, you know, everything on there and start fresh. And I still, for some reason, I don't know if my phone had a virus or what was going on, but my old phone still had um, hardly any storage left in it after that. So I went and I bought a new phone, brand new, with more storage on it. And I just got the last couple of times I tried filming this haul where my phone just stopped recording and it said I didn't have any memory so I don't know what the heck is going on but it's really aggravating so I'm sorry sorry about the rant I'll go ahead and get started and show you guys what I found so for the third time um uh I did find uh some of this vase filler there is 110 pieces in here and I got the silver and the white um, they had different colors, but I just wanted the silver and the white, so I went ahead and grabbed one package of those. I did go ahead and pick up some of this wired garland ties, and uh, they have this pretty much every year. Um, I just got this to have on hand in case I needed it. Um, this comes in really handy for uh, if you're into wreath making and you need to add a few sprigs of evergreen or pine or whatever. Or if you have a Christmas tree that's a little sparse and it needs a little bit more, you can uh, put this in there. So anyway, I just went ahead and grabbed one package of those. Um, the next thing that I picked up are, they're calling them ornaments. You get three on here, but they're li these little poinsettia flowers. Um, they had some in a couple of different colors. I really liked the red one, so I did grab it. And these are the kind that have the... Um, clips on the back. So um, anyway, I really like these, so I went ahead and grabbed one of those. Um, the next thing that I picked up is this headband. And this headband is so cute. I'm not going to use it for a headband because this is tiny and I've got a huge head. But <laughs> um, I got this because of the antlers. These antlers are this red and black buffalo plaid and um, I don't know. I'm going to be doing some sort of a DIY with these. So I, res I just really liked these antlers, but I'm thinking I may go back and get a few more because um, I have some more ideas that have popped in my head about what I can do with these. So anyway, grabbed one of those. Um, I grabbed a package of these pom-poms. You get 16 in here, and I was mainly, I got this because of the white pom-pom that's in there. Um, I was looking for some that were all white and that were... A bigger size now Dollar Tree does have the ones that are all white or they even have some I think that are all black but they are the smaller size pom-poms and I'm wanting some bigger ones um, even this one that's in there really isn't the size that I'm wanting um, I did get it though just in case so I'm gonna probably have to go to Hobby Lobby and see if I can't find um, see if maybe they have some bigger ones I don't know but I did grab one package of those um, I also did pick up some of these pom-poms. Now you get 60 in here, and they are uh, just a bunch of different colors. But these are really neat and because they have the uh, tinsel that is kind of hanging out on there. Um, and these are really, I don't know, these are kind of Christmassy to me, even though this wasn't in the Christmas um, section or anything. But I did go ahead and grab one package of those. Um... I found these. Now, I hauled these some similar to these for Halloween. These are the Christmas LED um, projector lights. Uh, 
they had these two to choose from, so I, I couldn't make up my mind, so I got both. But um, this red one, the scene on it is like a red, I don't know if that's like a house or a church or what, but um, I just thought it was really pretty. It was like this snowy kind of scene. I don't know if it's coming through on my camera very well, but... Um, I did go ahead and grab this and these do not come with batteries so you do have to buy your own batteries but it only takes two uh, AAA batteries and Dollar Tree does sell AAA batteries so um, I grabbed that red one and then this green one I think is probably my favorite um, because it does have Santa Claus with his sleigh and his reindeer flying through the sky, the moon behind them. I just think it's really cute so um, I did go ahead and grab that one. Um, the next things that I picked up are some of these tumbling tower game. Um, my Dollar Trees have not had these, but the last one that I went to, they had some sitting up really high on the shelf. So I just reached up there and grabbed me one. But I got this because... Um, I like to use these for making some DIYs and stuff with, and I know I'm going to be doing that and uh, making DIYs, so I was going to need some of these uh, little wooden blocks. So I did grab one of those. Um, I grabbed a couple of these rolls of ribbon. Now, these they have every year. Um, it's the burlap with the lace uh, in the center. Um, it is wired, but it's the 2 inch, and it's the 9 feet. Um, I use this ribbon in a lot of my wreaths and things that I make because, um, I don't know, it's just a real popular, it's neutral, it can go with pretty much anything, um, and people are really into the, like, vintage farmhouse kind of vibes, and, I don't know, this just gives me farmhouse-y kind of vibes, so, um, I did need some more, so I went ahead and grabbed two rolls of it. Um, they also have this ribbon, and this is in the Christmas section, and it is the two and a half inch. Um, it's nine feet also, but this is um, the material. It looks burlap. It looks like a burlap ribbon, um, and then the center is sort of like this mesh material. So um, I did grab two rolls of this, and um, yeah, it is the two and a half inch and the nine feet. So I grabbed two rolls of that. Um, I also went ahead and picked up one roll of this two and a half inch um, by nine feet red sort of velvet type ribbon and um, they have this every year pretty much and I use this a lot, a lot um, during the Christmas season because this is a really good ribbon. It's velvet, um, it's really good quality. Uh, the only bad thing is it's only nine feet so it really isn't a lot. But um, I know that, I think it was last year or the year before, I ran out of this. And it was really depressing because I was in the middle of making a Christmas wreath. And I went to run to the Dollar Tree really quick to get some. And they were completely sold out. They never got any more in. So I'm going to try not to run into that problem again this year and stock up on this. But um, I did only grab one. I probably should have grabbed more. And I will make a note of it. When I go back, I will get more. So, um, grab that. Then they had these really pretty silver bells. They had them in uh, this silver color, a red color, and I believe it was gold. Um, these are really nice. Now, they are plastic. Uh, they do kind of look like they're metal, but they're not. They're plastic. I grabbed four of them, and they are only half bells. So it's not a whole entire bell, it's just a half of one. Um, but they are, you know, they're a pretty good size. They're pretty big. And I really liked the um, carving that's on the inside here, this engraving. It's like candles, three little candles. But I think it's really pretty. And I got these because I'm going to probably be putting my own little touch on here um, and then hanging them outside. Um, I don't know. I really liked the red ones that they had too. So I may end up going back and getting some of the red ones also. But um, for now, I just got the silver ones. So there's that. Um, I don't know if you all seen my last haul, but I hauled the um, 
picks that they had and they only had the one that I could find that was at least halfway decent. Um, I did happen to find another one at a different Dollar Tree and um, this one is in really good shape too. It's got, I don't see anything that's missing on there. It's got the flocked um, pine needles, the pine cones, the um, cotton stem here, and then it's also got some little um, like holly berries on there, which I think is really pretty. So I was happy to be able to find another one of these that wasn't all torn apart <laughs> and looked a mess. So um, I did grab one more of those. And then they have these, which I think these are really pretty. Um, I just like staying with like the whites, uh, you know, the neutral colors. So I did grab two of these picks. These are really nice. They have the um, little white poinsettias on there. Um, it does have a pine cone and these little, uh, I guess these are holly berries, but, um, and you know, these little holly berries that are in there, they don't stay on there that well. They do come off, but um, this one was one of the nicer ones. Um, they also have, I really like this pine pick up here. This looks so real. I just, I, I don't know. I, I think it looks so real. It does have another um, little sprig of like pine right here. And these are, you know, what you typically see on a cheapy, um, you know, I don't know you can tell it's fake <laughs> but um, this one right here it looks so real but um, anyway I did grab two of those uh, let's see here um, I did pick up one of these little ornament um, hanging decor kind of tinsel wrapped in tinsel <laughs> Um, I didn't get this to leave as it is. I'm probably going to take this apart and see if I can't do, um, I don't know, something different with it. Maybe spruce it up a little bit, but um, I've never done that to one of these before. So I thought I'd grab one and try it and see how it turned out. Um, let's see. Oh, I found this sign. It's a tag, but this one was so cute. It's um, got Santa on there. Down here on the bottom, it says Joy, and it's got the red and black buffalo plaid, which I think, you know, I love it. But look at his little face. He just looks like a very sweet, kind-hearted man, doesn't he? <laughs> so anyway, I couldn't pass him up. I had to get him. So I did go ahead and grab one of those. I'm going to reach down here. Okay, they only had one of these left, so I went ahead and grabbed it, and I think they had something like this last year. Um, I'm not 100% sure, but I think they did. But this one is all white, and the Let It Snow is in like these metal tin letters. And guys, this is the best part. There's no glitter. There's no glitter on here. So I'm pretty excited that there was no glitter on it. Um, but I really liked it, because I love the uh, white... Uh, kind of vintage shiplap barnwood farmhouse kind of look that it's got going so um, I did grab this one and like I said there this was the last one so must have been pretty popular um, okay so the last three things that I have are these red and black buffalo plaid ribbon these are made so nice and I don't think I've ever seen any of the red and black buffalo plaid uh, pre-made ribbons like this at the Dollar Tree. Now they had several different patterns to choose from. Um, I'm Like I said, I'm doing my theme this year for Christmas in the red and black buffalo plaid. So um, I went ahead and grabbed three of these. Now I'm using these for outside my house. I'm gonna be decorating my um, uh, garage lights outside and my porch light. I'm gonna be uh, probably hanging these around those. I may go back and get one more uh, or maybe two more for um, my mailbox because I'm thinking I may decorate my mailbox this year. I've never done that before. I've never decorated my mailbox and um, I've been watching a lot of videos lately on how to do like mailbox, mailbox swags. So I may be doing that. I'm going to try it and see. So anyway, I did go ahead and grab three of these. Now these are made a pretty durable fabric, I believe. Now the back side is like this plasticky Kind of material and then on the front is this but it's like a cloth uh, material so I'm hoping that they hold up 
under the weather because here in Missouri, you never know what you're going to get. It's like a box of chocolates. You never know. One day, well, not even one day. All in one day, we'll experience all four seasons. So um, anyway, I went ahead and just grabbed those three. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, I would appreciate it if you did. Um, remember, I am going to be doing a giveaway when I get to 1,000 subscribers. I'm almost there. Um, I'm also going to be doing a giveaway, uh, a beauty giveaway, and I'm still uh, slowly collecting stuff for that giveaway. So make sure that if you're interested in any of that to um, subscribe to my channel. I would be glad to have you. So yeah, anyway, I hope that you guys are having a wonderful day. I want to thank you all for watching and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye!